Hey guys, okay, it's day 13 and we're gonna be talking about how to create a following. What this means is, is how's your, how are you gonna attract people to your page, to what you're doing? And that's all about value and offering value. So basically you have to sit back and think about your posts and are people going to get things out of your posts? Like, are they going to learn things? Are they going to be inspired by what you're writing? And it's, I mean, I know when we, when we have our Facebook pages and we open them, it's a lot about family and, um, you know, just kind of silly things that you're doing every day and fun things that you're doing every day. And that's good. You want to portray your life on Facebook, but we've got to start changing that into a business mindset. We've got to start posting things that will bring value and educate people because you don't want to just look like you're bragging about yourself. Although um, you still you still want to open up that side of your life so people feel like you're real and they're comfortable and they know what you're about totally and that you're also a product of the product. You know that and and you know that maybe some days you may make a mistake. You'll post that you overate one day and things like that. So you do want to be real too. Um, but you've got to make sure that is the post that you're putting up, is it teaching something? Is it motivational? Is it inspiring? Because um, those are the things that are going to build your file following. People are going to want to, like they're going to look forward to your post. Like I know she posts these grace things every day. So I've got to go to her page or on the news feed. They're going to, you're constantly clicking like, hearts, commenting, you name it. Um, so you want to make sure that you're using your personal page, um, especially when you're beginning your business, because that's what you have. That has been your following for a while, but you do want to open up a like page. You want to invite them all over to your like page and you want to start posting on that like page. I made the mistake that it's, I started my like page way, 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 I mean, too long, too far into the business. And it's still, I'm take, it's still taking me a long time to build up my like page. Um, so if you can start it right from the beginning and get people to move over there, then go for it. That's huge. That'll be a huge advantage for you. Um, so again, and, oh, here's the biggest tip, guys, is that your value has to be consistent. Make sure that everything you, you like you're posting consistently at least two to three times a day. And um, definitely minimum once a day. You've got to post something about beach body, about what you're doing at least once a day, whether it's recipes, your workout, you name it, to make people know that you're in this business and that you're serious, that you're a serious CEO. Um, so uh, again, the tip is to, to um, post consistently. For most people, the hottest times to post are after 8 p.m. and in the early morning because people wake up, they're scrolling their Facebook as they wake up or they're getting ready for work or getting ready for school. And then um, I think for a lot of people too, it might be anywhere between the three o'clock and the um, six o'clock hour too because some people either, you know, the moms are home with their kids after they picked them up or they came off the bus or people are just got out of work and they haven't been on Facebook all day, so they're scrolling then. So I know for some people that's a hot time, and then definitely after 8 o'clock when people are just hanging out at night or they're um, you know, watching TV and they're scrolling while they're watching TV. But you have to figure out the perfect time for your following. We're all different. Um, for some of you, you might be younger, and you might have friends that – Maybe they don't wake up until later in the day, but they stay up later at night. And then there's a lot of moms who are like up at the butt crack of dawn and they also go to bed really early too. So you just kind of figure it out and what works for you and your following. Um, you always want to have go-to topics because as you get into this business, you know, sometimes posts, figuring out posts is super hard. It's super hard to figure out what you're going to write some days. You might just not be feeling it either. I mean, there's been days I'm like, dude, I don't know what the heck I'm going to post. So you have to really have some go-to topics. Like here are um, mine. I'll tell you mine. Monday, I do motivational Mondays. So motivational quotes. If I don't have anything special, I'll look up motivational quotes, quotes on Google and I'll make, you know, make up my own um, picture and then put the quote on there. Uh, Transformation Tuesday. I'll take the transformations from Beachbody's back office and I always like to promote them because people love to see what workout people have done and how it's changed their lives. 
uh, Water Wednesday, or I also do Shakeology Wednesday too, um, because I'm, I really want to educate people on Shakeology and the ingredients that's in it. Thoughtful Thursday is a big one for me, um, where I, you know, something, again, another thoughtful quote, um, digging a little bit deeper. Um, and then Friday is flavorful, flavorful Friday, where I like to put recipes. That's a go-to success Saturday. And I also do meal planning Sunday or serenity Sunday. I, li I like to do a lot of more um, faith-based posts on Sunday as well. So those are my go-to if I don't have anything else that I come up with. Um, that day. I try to come up with something raw every day, but um, if I can't, then I have those already, you know, ready to go or I put them in post-cron and I'll have that posted and then I'll do another post later in the day that's more raw. So that's up to you to figure that out. Um, so again, guys, you want to have, you want to be their researcher, their educator. You want to be the first one that is like, okay, I found something new, maybe about the paleo lifestyle living. You want to educate them on the paleo lifestyle, or you want to educate them on the, um, uh, the ramifications of aspartame, how it affects your body. Or I mean, something could, you could have watched something that you were like, oh my God, I had no idea that food that was in our food. You could post that. Or it could be, I mean, anything that you have interest in. It could be a hobby of yours that you realize, man, you know, I need to educate people on this um, and teach them, you know, about it. So just really tune into those things and just educate. And also, if you can't come up with another thing is share. If you get, you know, like all those tasty, uh, um, recipes, you know, you see on Tasty, the like page for Tasty and all, creating different foods and stuff like that. I share those a lot. If I can't come up with something, I'll share something, a, a recipe that's healthy and I'll, and I'll post it. Be like, I saw this. This is awesome. You guys need to try it. Simple, but something's still on my page and it's staying in the newsfeed and it's making people aware that I'm here. So um, your assignment today is to pick two to three go-to topics. You want to have those go-to topics, guys, so that you can fall back on them. Write them down, post them where you need to post them, but get those set up for yourself. I like to have seven go-to topics. Like I said, there's seven days in the week, and sometimes, you know, I just need them. <laughs> um, number two, brainstorm. What are you known for? What do people always ask you for help with? Are you a whiz at figuring something out or doing something? So these are things that you could start to create value for on your page. Look at yourself and what you're good at. Um, it could be about your kids. Maybe you're awesome at organizing things. Or um, it could be about finding like um, amazing things to do with your kids in your area. Post that kind of thing. Or if, if you're uh, single, it could be even like thing, where to meet people, where to go to have fun. Um, you know, if you're into knitting, it could be any kind of tips on knitting. Uh, if you have animals, same thing. It could be about your animals and wine runners. I posted about my dog with diabetes a few weeks ago. Um, and I've, I've sprinkled in a few other posts about him there, him here and there. So just, just, um, ask yourself questions about what are, are your interests and what you're good at. Um, and the last thing is to um, get started immediately and start posting, guys. Never delay yourself with your posts because that's the only way people are going to know what you're all about and what you're doing. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow's the last day of our 14-day training. Can't wait.